Hello everybody, this is Dr. Walter Sims and I am here in Slidell, Louisiana hanging out with Mama Rochelle and we just got through uh, with the first part of my seminar, my new seminar, I Know Why You're Stuck. And we had such a fabulous time and she, she corralled me because I promised her that I was going to interview her and uh, talk to her a little bit about where she is, where she's come from and our interaction because believe it or not, we have met on social media, through Twitter, through Facebook and a lot of people, Mama Rochelle, they're down playing Twitter. I don't care. I love social media. I think when God designed social media, he had me in mind. And I am so excited. Hey. <laughs> well, tell, tell everybody a little bit about Mama Rochelle. Well, I am a mother. I am a wife. I have one son. And I love life. Amen. Um, I went through a lot. It's been a process. Amen. But by the grace of God, Awesome. That is awesome. Well, tell tell everybody uh, a couple of things that you've been through. Because it's in your first ebook that we worked on. What happens when you outrun God? And we worked on that together. But what's some of the things that you've been through? Oh wow. Well, I lost my job. Okay. I was actually laid off. I was working corporately, in America, living off the good life. Amen. Making a decent salary. Amen. Lost a lot. Amen. Um, by the grace of God, that we're still in our home and that we have our minds, sound mind, because it's been a struggle. Amen. But I know that God is my provider. That, that's good. And, and, and like we say all the time, if you don't have a test, you're not going to have a testimony. Okay. And since now you want to be an inspirational speaker, yes. you're life coaching people, you're building your, your website, your blog, and uh, somebody says you may be a pastor of a new ministry in the area, whatever, <laughs> you cannot really tell anybody anything if you haven't been anywhere yourself. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Yes. So what's one of the big, biggest things, before we talk about how Mama Rochelle came about, what's one of the biggest things you've learned through all of this that you've been through? Whew. I've learned some several nuggets, oh, but one thing I know that I've learned to trust God. Oh, amen. Praise, God. Praise, God. God. Praise <laughs> God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Trust Him through it all. Amen. I was I was just telling somebody, I was just telling somebody the other day that if you love God, you also gotta trust him. As much as you love him, you gotta trust him. So how That's did right. you and I meet? What what's that about? Oh, how did we meet? Divine appointment. <laughs> divine appointment, yes. They talk about social media, networking, whatever we Actually, I got on Twitter. That's right. In December, and by the grace of God, I met you in February. That's exactly Actually, right. Valentine's Day. That's exactly, exactly right. right. Exactly. <laughs> and you just offered a, a, a wonderful coaching series, and I just said, I'm interested in this. You Amen. Know, and I believe that was the Holy Ghost. Amen. And it's been wonderful ever since. You have blessed my life. Amen. I mean, I'm author now, <laughs> you know, a speaking Amen. engagement, praise, and God, praise, praise God. God, praise yes. God, that yes. is awesome, but well, what's on the horizon for you now, what are some of the things you're working on now? Well, I'm trying to start um, blogging on the radio, um, actually doing radio hosts, Amen. every on the fourth Thursday, that's right, that's yes, right, yes, yes, so, and I'm trying to get more engagements to speak, because I'm definitely, have a passion about Giving people hope. Amen. Praise God. Give Praise that's God. That's what my desire is. That's if awesome. Give somebody hope, they can make it. <laughs> because that's what hope. Happened. That's right. Hope to me. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, we got a couple of. We got a few more seconds because I know we got to go. We got to get yes. everything cleaned up. Yes. But okay, the whole world is going to be watching. I mean, we got we got people over in London. We got people over in South Africa. We got people in New Zealand following us. Yes. So, so what's one thing that you would tell about? I want you to look at the camera. What's one thing Mama Rochelle would tell all those people that are watching that if they're stuck, if they're stuck, if they're stuck, what can they do? What's one of the biggest things they can do to get unstuck tonight? What can they do? <sighs> And that's a good question, Doc. But I'm going to tell you like this. Face your fear. Excellent. Excellent. Face your fear and look. don't look back. Amen. Don't Praise look back. God. Praise God. That's awesome. Well, everybody, listen. That's been Mama Rochelle, and I'm the Minister of Motivation, Dr. Walter Sam. Listen, we love y'all. And like she just said, wherever you are tonight, wherever you are, 
and, and I know you're struggling with some things. You're struggling with fear. You're really wrestling with that because you don't know what tomorrow may hold. You know what happened yesterday, and you kind of know what you're going through right now, but you don't know about tomorrow, the fear of the unknown. But I got something I want to share with you. If you got to want to, God already has the how to. You just got to want to. We can't coach it. We can't pay you enough to get you to want to. You just got to want to. You got to get to the place where you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Well, listen, as I always say, if you stay how life, life is going to stay how you. If you want to contact me, shoot me an email at drwaltersims at gmail.com or go to my website, www.ministermotivation.com. Oh, she's got one more thing she wants yes. to say. And go. if you want to, you can like me on Mama, uh, Mama Rochelle Facebook. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And be inspired because I'm Amen. on my Rochelle Facebook. Praise Facebook. God. Praise God. Thank Praise you. God. Thank you, Dr. Praise God. God. Listen again, like we say, if you stay high on life, life is going to stay high on you.